holiday time! I have to admit, one of my favorite things about this time of year is the holiday drinks. I'm one of those PSL people. Sorry. I like to be festive. So I am recreating one of my favorite drinks, a peppermint mocha, and we are going to make a candy cane syrup and a candy cane mocha version of that syrup. The nice thing about this syrup is it does not include any crap that you might find in store-bought syrups, so no preservatives, no artificial flavors, no natural flavors, whatever that means. We're gonna be using real ingredients. No, it's such a novel idea. So this candy cane syrup has just a few ingredients. We're gonna be using sugar, peppermint, vanilla, and water. And cocoa powder is optional if you'd like to make a chocolate version of this. And really all you're gonna do is combine your sugar and water in a pot and steep your mint. So you want to steep it to release the peppermint oils out into the sugar solution and we're making a heavier simple syrup than a one-to-one -one ratio because we don't want a syrup that's going to dilute whatever liquid that we're putting it in. So no diluted coffee or diluted tea, you just have a really strong concentrated syrup. These are the ingredients that we will need to make our candy cane syrup. I just have some turbinado sugar and you can use regular white granulated sugar if you'd like and we're going to be using two cups of sugar to one cup of water because we're making a heavier simple syrup and then you want a nice big bunch of peppermint. This is about a cup of mint leaves so for this recipe we want to use two to three cups so more than I have in here. If you're using dried peppermint use half the amount, a quarter of a vanilla bean. So this is a fresh vanilla bean and I'm just going to cut it in half and use the back of your knife to scrape the seeds. Add this to the syrup while it's cooking and then when you strain it you'll be straining the pods out. Then just a little pinch of salt to enhance the flavors and optional is a tablespoon and a half of cocoa powder if you want to make a candy cane mocha syrup. So you want to combine the sugar, the mint, and the water in a sauce pot Cover and cook on low for at least 30 minutes. We want to draw the oils out of the peppermint um, slowly. You don't want to do too much damage to the leaves, so do keep it on a low heat. And then covered so you're not having too much water evaporate out and making too thick of a caramel sauce. The cocoa powder and the salt are going to go in at the end. This is the finished candy cane syrup with peppermint and vanilla bean. So I just cooked this for about 30 minutes. You want to go 30 minutes to an hour and you can cover it with a lid to keep the water from evaporating so it doesn't cook down too much. So while this mixture is still hot, I'm going to strain it. This is your finished candy cane syrup and you can either leave this syrup just as it is or we can take it to the next level. So to make our candy cane mocha syrup, you just want to return your candy cane syrup to a pot. Add in your cocoa powder. So get this incorporated into the candy cane syrup and then you want to return this to the stove. Bring it up to a boil and then let it cool. You just want to cook out the cocoa powder a little bit so the texture of the syrup comes out nice and smooth. cool at room temperature and then you can put it into a nice container for yourself or to give away as a gift. Just keep it in an airtight container in the fridge for up to a month. You can package this into a pretty little container if you'd like to give this away as a gift. I've got some in a little mason jar that I wrapped with some burlap. Make a pretty little label for a bottle. You know, these aren't big, crazy, expensive gifts, but they are things that take time. And sometimes giving someone the gift of time is more meaningful than giving them something that you bought. And even though this isn't anything hard to make, it is something that you've made with your own hands, and it's a personal gift from you. Yay. I made something for you. And if you want to gift this to a bunch of your friends, all you have to do is make a gigantic batch. I will put the recipe in annotations and in the notes below so you can adjust for any size recipe that you'd like to make. 
and please feel free to leave me any comments or questions you might have. You can follow me on Instagram for more tips, or you can also find more tips on our blog on simplecareproducts.com. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe if you'd like to be updated when I upload new videos, and I will see you next week. If you're looking for more DIY gift ideas, check out our candy cane body scrub and red wine body mask videos.